Hello my friends, it's Mark Thomas, the home builder, and welcome to my home outdoors channel. Today, I'm going to review the Oshinkoff OX644H. The H stands for hickory. It can either come with a hickory or Nash handle. And this particular one right here, says that they all come with the leather sheath right here. And this has the rot band system. This is a steel protective sleeve that protects, you know, when you are hitting your wood, if you you overshoot a little bit, that keeps the handle from busting up. This will give you years of service life before you have to replace it. All right, so let's go over some stats. It's approximately 20 inches long. I'll give you a perspective by standing back. You can see, like, according with my shoulders, how long this is. I almost consider it a little bit of a hybrid because most of your hatches are not this long. This could actually be a two-handled, like a, a small axe. Um, but we're going to test this out. I have not even used this yet, so further in the video, stay tuned. We'll see how this works with one hand or two hands. So anyways, uh, the overall length, 20 inches. The cutting width right here is 4 inches. The weight of the head itself is 2.75 pounds. The overall weight is 4.25 pounds. All right, and I said it has a hickory handle, and you can just see how it's with the rot band system. It tapers down, and it tapers out again near the edge, near the end. Just gives you a good solid grip, so it's not going to go flying out of your hands. I'll give you a little perspective. See the end of that? That's very nice. And it comes with a sheath. Dropped it on the ground. A leather sheath right here. And if you're using this as a hatchet, you want to keep that sheath on because it's got this uh, striking area right there where you could drive some stakes or do some other things with it. Some hammering action. Alright, get a closer look here. There's a logo of Oshinkoff. And I just like the stamping right there, if you can see that. It's like a maker's mark. It's just really cool the way that's stamped in right there. See that? I think it's just pretty awesome little detail. And I'm going to go over the next step, just giving you some of my initial reactions to it. This is a high quality German tool. This is not your typical hatchet. This is something that when you buy it, you're going to just keep it pretty much forever and hand it down. You, if you take good care of it, keep it out of the rain from rusting, it's going to last you years and years and years. And you can just see the quality, if you can just touch that, it's very sharp. And I'm anxious to test this out for the first time. And you'll see how I'm going to strike some wood and make it into smaller. Like when you're, when I think of hatchet, I'm thinking like smaller pieces, like the size of like your forearm, that size and less. That makes a good campfire. You don't want like big logs. You want smaller logs to get a better flame going. So it's a better campfire. So let's go to the next step and you'll see this thing in action. Alright, now before we get down to business, I just want to say a couple of quick safety things. Always wear eye protection. When you're swinging, hitting things, things can flip up, they can get in your eye. That's dangerous, so do that. And I prefer to wear, I have these these uh, Craftsman gloves, they're made of a suede leather. They just give me a really good grip on this, so when I'm swinging it, it ensures um, a nice safe grip that will hold this from flying out. And then the handle helps that too, the, the way that that flares out. So anyways, let's get down to business and you'll see this thing splitting that firewood. Alright, with this handle being 20 inches long, I'm going to start out by swinging this fly. I'm going to start out by swinging this with two hands, a couple times each, and then I'm going to go to a couple other pieces one hand. Let's see how it works. Pretty much swung too hard there. Nice. This pops. Look at that. This is going to be good kindling right here. It's good dry wood. I might have to try it on some green wood. See how it works. Try one handed. That one's got a pretty big knot in it. I didn't swing that hard, so it didn't really pop. See that knot? Nice. 
Here's a piece one-handed. Nice. Two-handed. It gets really small. Well, you can even choke up on it too. Like this right here. Yeah. All right. I'm happy with it. I got to learn how to swing it. Depends on your wood. Sometimes you go too light and it sticks in it. You go too hard and it flies right through. So it's always a balance depending on what you're splitting. Okay, my friends, so this concludes the video review of the Oshinkoff OX644H hatchet. This is a one-of-a-kind extraordinary tool. It's going to last you a lifetime. It's well worth the money. So anyways, if you find the video useful, I just appreciate you taking a quick second to click on the thumbs up down below. That would really mean a lot to me. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe. i got more things to review that are awesome on the way. Have a great day. Here's my challenge. Can I split this piece? It's approximately nine inches across with the hatchet using it as a small axe with two hands. So let's see if under eight swings I can get it to split. Oh! One split, it's already, one swing already partially split. Oh, nice. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Have a great day. Juice.